Hey everyone, Justin Byers, JB Byers Woodworking. Uh, Amazon left my package in the rain, but luckily I've seen it in time before it got completely soaked. Um, I ordered some foam for my drawers. Uh, this is a recording foam. It's acoustic foam for studios, and I actually like this stuff. It's it's soft, but yet the surface on it's kind of, uh, I'm you know. It's smooth, but it's kind of tacky, so it keeps stuff from sliding around. Um, here I'm cutting, you know, some of my squares and stuff out. And I'm going to walk you through the tool cabinet here. So this first drawer, these were my dad's uh, Sheffield tools. I got these for him probably 16 years ago or something. Um, he never took them out of the actual boxes that they came in. They were still, you know, like you just got them from the store. Dad was a stickler for, for keeping things uh, kept up, neat, and and things. But uh, I decided to get them out and display them here and uh, in remembrance of him. I actually made this tool cabinet in his name. And uh, so I've got those displayed now. And here's uh, my go-to, you know, my, my dream books or grizzly and and things but uh i actually have these handyman directories um dad was a subscriber to the handyman catalog for for several years and uh become a member and this is a directory of every single member um that was subscribed to handyman it's kind of like a phone book it has their information in there you know things that they did and and everything but i remember uh there's his name there and uh what he did you know carpentry plumbing and electrical etc um i remember when he got this one in the mail and showed it to me he was really tickled about it so i'm gonna leave that in here and i'll probably flip through it from time to time and the next drawer is still a mess gonna be my router bit drawer so i still had to develop some stuff for that one and the next drawer has got you know all my drill bits and tapping dies and drilling increments in there uh and here's my power tools um jigsaw and dremels and drills and sanders and grinder and, and things um in this drawer and the bottom one here i have my skill saw and my router um and router accessories and I may develop something later to try to get this a little more tidy and organized uh, some of the other drawers as you'll see when I'm walking through them um, we'll jump up to the verticals uh, here I have my screwdrivers and uh, I, I just like how this keeps everything neat and here's my files um, you know, everything's here on hand. My special ops tools, screwdrivers, hammers. And uh, those are really good tools. I like those. And my extra, you know, levels and knock around chisels and moisture meter and things like that. And I still have not developed anything in this one yet. So I work on something for that one as well as this small area here in the opening. Uh, working on getting something there. And here's where I cut out for all my K-Pro measuring tapes and uh, squares and stare squares and things that I have displayed in uh, this drawer. And then in the next drawer I have, you know, the little squares that uh, you use for clamping, 90s, uh, making cabinets and stuff in this drawer here. And then I have some magazines in here. And this, you know, some of the, this may change later on, I'm sure. But for right now, I just threw some magazines in. And this drawer, I'm really proud of. I, I went a little extremely OCD on this one. But this is all my black diamond pigments, uh, dyes and stuff that I use for my epoxy work. And I like that, you know, I have all the, the names and the colors separated where I can see them so when I open the drawer I know exactly what I'm getting and reaching for and the next drawer is screws 
um, I have one there, and then the bottom drawer, of course, is all my epoxy that I use and my mixing containers. And here is scissors and knives. Uh, that's all that's in here. You know, it's not a clumbled up mess uh, like this one is. I just put some things in there. But here's my sandpaper. And in the next drawer, I have more sandpaper uh, in that one. And then here's my uh, glue accessories, uh, tight bond brushes and pumps and rockler glue bots and rollers and things like that. And in the bottom drawer is glue. And I made this little shelf uh, to hold my smaller glue bottles, keep them upright and keep them neat and organized. And I, I may use this uh, in several other drawers as well. So here's my pliers, needle nose pliers, you know, they're right here organized so I can get to those and here's tape that's just all that's in this drawer is tape and then here my next one is dust masks that's all that's in this drawer and then I have my uh, contour gauges and it's just some extra little tool sets you know wrenches sockets and stuff just some small things in there and then here I have my box scrub attachments and uh in there and then here i have my finishing products oils teak oils waxes and things you know for cutting board and for finishes and uh i may develop something for for that one also and this drawer here i have my notepads pens and pencils and this is the actual the last rendering that i did for uh the tool cabinet i do everything with with pencil and paper uh so this is, you know, 96 inch tool cabinet that I originally was going to do. And, uh, but this kind of got me in the direction that I was shooting for getting everything measured out and, and laid out the way that I wanted. So that's what I did with that section. And this center section here, uh, if you look where the router burnt through, I actually routed down to the veneer. That's the only thing that's there in that spot is the veneer. And I have the wireless phone charger in behind that. So I set my phone there and it uh, charges. This vertical pull out, I have my crowbars and monkey wrenches and long pry screwdriver there and uh, just a big square I put, take up some of that space. And then I have my crosscut saws here. The large one was my dad's. Uh, he had that one forever and then I got the small one. I guess I was about eight maybe. And then I got the other saw, but I made some maple burrow handles for those a couple of years ago. They, I like how they came out. And then here's my hammers, rubber mallet, um, marking gauge. Uh, that's all that's in here. And I'll show you this back part, uh, how I have these fastened on here. I know a lot of times, sometimes people don't show, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. I just put the... Uh, drawer guides on there and measured out where they needed to go and and have them fastened there to the back of that and it, it works really nicely it, i'm i'm thrilled with how it came out um it moves around here's my wind chimes um uh, i have to develop something for the handles so when i open them they don't cling around like that uh, but this is my japanese and uh flush trim saws and coping saws in that one and my headphone stand <laughs> and here's my chisel rack uh got a little lock latch like you use on a gate and uh have a hole back here that it locks into when it's in the back position just to keep it from swinging around uh, so i can get access to my lay tools and uh they're on little magnets uh, as well to keep them in place it just really utilizes this space and, and, you know, each little square inch of it uh, as much as possible to, to really customize and get everything stored into here as possible. That's what I like about this design. Here I have my wrenches and uh, adjustables, you know, at hand. You're always looking for one of them. That was my grandfather's old brace and bit. And then I have these small drawers, just little, you know, clock parts and stuff and then encased uh, bearings and uh, jewelry box you know hinges and locks and things little springs and extra bolts and brackets wood burning stuff um, i think this one's empty and then i have uh 
hobby knife and uh, exacto knives and things in there sharpies and pencils lead pencils and i put a little divider in there just to keep them separated um as well and here's my cutting board rubber feet stainless screws uh for when i do my cutting boards so these little drawers have really come in handy and getting small things in there i can hear i have uh, spanish cedar in here so it's not in the shop getting dusty laying around somewhere for my humidor kits um you know here's my parts locks and hinges for my humidors so that you know i really like these small drawers that come in handy for keeping everything together organized and neat as well and there's 56 of them so i have plenty of uh of storage there and in my hand plane teal and i will uh i will set this down and open this up for y'all again and like I said, it's it's a good bit of area in there. And I could have, I guess, came up with something else. But I decided to end up, I just put a, a sliding shelf in there and uh, put a bar in. Just for that way, this stuff's not laying around the shop. And here's my flask with my logo. The other flask was actually my father's. And then I made this where I used to work at, a little bottle opener. Uh, they had a laser, and we used to kind of tinker around and make cool stuff from time to time. So, really thrilled how this this build came out using every little inch that uh, that I possibly could. Um, and I have lights in behind here as well. So, and I don't know if I'll put anything on the back of that or not, but uh, I may or may not later on. And then I have. The center section, like I said, I did this cabinet in honor of my father, and I've actually named this tool cabinet after him. And uh, I've got some bird's eye maple. I'm going to show you that. Uh, I've got some really nice bird's eye maple from Joseph, a good buddy of mine that sent me uh, sent me some, and I went and re it so I could get uh, a few extra pieces. But here's my lumber rack, too, that keeps my cherry and plywood and walnut and maple and sweet gum and spouted maple and small cutoffs and things separated and i have some of this sweet quilted african mahogany that stuff's just beautiful to uh, work with and it's just really nice um figured stuff and then some other short pieces of of things there and 10 foot pieces this this was a much needed as well to get my lumber organized there's some uh, mahogany, and uh, this is the bird's eye maple. So this is what I'm going to use to engrave on um, the name in and put in the center section. But this is just polluted. Really has a ton of figure in it and uh, just really nice pieces. Uh, I, he, he fixed me up right with this one. And I actually, uh, I may do a video when I engrave this sign. I don't have a CNC machine. I do everything by hand. And uh, I've actually got a piece here that I will pull out you uh, pull out and show um, what I did. It's a uh, Florida State Seminole sign that I actually did with a, uh, a homemade bit. And I, I made this bit to do this sign with because it had some really small details. Before I spent the money to actually buy the bit that I was looking at. Uh, and I, I was thrilled with how it, you know, worked. So I thought, okay, I like how it does. I'll buy the the actual bit now. And uh, I have to get another one because I dropped it. It hit the floor and chipped. But when I go to engrave, I may do a video of how I do my hand engraving on this. So... And uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for further builds. And I appreciate everyone and keep making.